Hi everyone, um, my name is Getzia and if this is your first time seeing my lovely face then I would like to say welcome to my channel Ketsy's Reads and what do I do here? Well, I mostly do movies and book reviews. Um, the uh, Most of my videos are in Spanish. This is the first video I'm doing in English um, because my native language is Spanish. But I want to start making videos in English too because I think it would it would attract a wider audience obviously and um, to be honest uh, even though I speak Spanish most of the content I consume is is in English you know most of the things I read I see or I hear and uh, let's say music uh, are in English so um, I want to start making some videos in English and this is going to be um, my first try at that, like my first experience, experiment, slash experiment. And yes, without further ado, I have for you today um, an <laughs> horror comic books from the 80s haul that I bought on eBay. I think it cost me about $15 and it has, uh, I think it has 20 comics in here. So I'm not going to show you the other side because it has my address, but this is how it came packaged. And I'm so excited. <laughs> This is my really tiny X-Acto knife. It, it's gotten moldy, so it's kind of dangerous, you know. Even if it wasn't moldy, it is dangerous. But even now, and now it is that it is moldy, it's even more dangerous. So I have to be pretty careful with this. But let's start. I'm going to cut this package. I'll be, I, I'll be right back. Okay, I still haven't opened it completely, but I would just like to say that I love that the seller put like the, this um, newspaper because since I have to cut here and it, it protects the comics from not getting, you know, cut with my slippery fingers with the exacto knife. So I really like that the seller did this. It's really good i like that okay goodbye <laughs> oh my gosh okay oh my gosh this is the first time i'm holding comic books in my hands guys you may think that it is crazy that i've never held a comic book in my hand but yeah and it also had another piece of newspaper here inside now I'm going to open a very carefully these comics oh my god I don't know where to start okay oh my god okay I have to be very careful about this because whew. okay I'll show you when I'm done Okay, I already opened this this top part. I don't know if I opened it the right way, but yep, I opened it. So I'm just going to be pulling out the comics and showing it to you guys. Okay, I'm excited. I'm not looking. Let's see. Okay, it says, oh, wait, do I have it? Okay, yeah, I had it backwards. Um, 30 Days of Night Return to Barrow, or Barrow, and it, here it says it is by Steve Niles and Ben 
Temple Smith. This is how it looks like. And I've seen this movie, 30 Days of Night, and I loved it. It's a movie about vampires, but it's um, pretty different to most other vampire movies I've seen. So yeah, in the back, it says Late Night, night Chills, Alice, Alaster, Arcane, number one. I really love this cover. I'm not a big fan of skulls, I got to be honest with you, but I like the dark, the, you know, the dark cover and the, the font of the letters. I like that. First one. Okay. Ooh, I'm liking this. Oh, yes. <gasps> Wow, this is, I love this cover. It looks so creepy, but yeah, it's so creepy and cool. Yeah, 30 Days of Night, Red Snow by Ben Temple Smith. This is how it looks like. And the back, this is the, this is actually the poster of, of the movie, uh, of the movie that was ad, ad, adapted, I think how you say it, that was an added, the movie was an adaptation from this, uh, the, this comic, 30 Days of Night, I love this cover, red and black looks really good, okay, yay, oh my gosh, okay, this one says, John Byrne, Angel, Blood and Trenches. This is how it looks like. I don't know if I'm saying the names correctly, so I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing them how they are supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> sorry, and this is how the back... Okay, it says... Uh, Eisner, Nomers, Ashley Wood and Chris Ryle once again, do that thing they do. Zombies versus robots. That sounds cool and futuristic. <laughs> Returns in an all-new bi-monthly series. And this time around, you get three serials in one. Beginning in this issue, the war story of Kampf. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, the human resistance grows in masques. And a voodoo curse leads to new zombies in Suvenbais. Yes, this is what it says. And uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But zombies versus robots? Okay. That's a different kind of zombie apocalypse. Oh, <gasps> what? So cool. Look at what I just... This is so cool. I didn't, I didn't know Scarface was a comic. I mean, I know it's a movie. I haven't seen it, but I know it's a movie. I didn't know it's a comic. Um, yeah, and this is the other, the other cover, the other, the front part. It says Angel by Auld Langsing. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Yes. Let's see here. Okay, this says Angel Not Fade Away. I think it's like it you know like serious or something like that. And it also has like oh uh, what I uh what I read about the zombies and versus robots. In the other comic, it says Angel Not Fade Away. I, I like this cover. I love her hair. <laughs> it looks really... As you can see, I really like fantasy hair colors. So, I really like her purple hair. Oh. What? Okay, I thought this was a horror comics. 
lot. What is this? This, <laughs> this is not horror. I mean, unless you're afraid of little ponies. No, but seriously, this is the the front of the comics of the comic. Yeah, it says Godzilla, rulers of Earth. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Godzilla. I'm not really a fan of like monster stories, but you know, it looks cool and I got it. So hey, let's see here. Okay, this okay. It says epilogue by Steve Niles and Kyle Hotz. It looks pretty cool. This cover, I like it. Um, I really don't understand this part. Like, okay, like, what is this? Like putting on some politics in here okay um i love this cover i love it it's really cool really like spooky and stuff i'm sorry for my wording i'm so i'm trying okay Ooh, silent hill dying inside look at this i've seen the movie but that was like oh my god wait my nails go with this cover my nails go with this cover it looks so cool okay don't know if you noticed guys but this cover goes great with my nail nail color my nail polish <laughs> yeah so i've seen this movie but that was like years ago of silent hill i think it was revelation i think i haven't played the games i'm not really like uh game player you know but i see i've seen the movie but i was like ages ago and this is the back okay this seems like a more older older um comic i don't think it's it says i think 2010 but i don't look at the cover it looks kind of older than the other ones. It says, Robert Bloch, yours truly, Jack the Ripper. So this is like um like a crime um, comic. And the back is pretty funny. It's like a dinosaur on top of a car. Yeah. I think the backs don't have much to do with the story they're just like i don't know if they're ads or something i don't really, i don't know anything about comic books so i'm sorry if i just i'm clueless about all of this okay oh i really like this cover the crow oh crow by shirley colden wilson she's like look at her i think that's a her i don't know and this is the back of it crawl okay okay this is Dracula's revenge obviously about uh vampires and he Dracula's probably mad because he wants revenge on somebody or a group of people I don't know and at the back it says alone at last except for all those zombies remains book one the deadliest little city in the world Steve Niles Kieran Dwyer Harpen Jatin this is the back of it of zombies. This is like a zombie diner lady. And she's I don't she's doing her job, I guess, by serving 
other zombies? I don't know. <laughs> it's a head, so... Hey. Ugh. Okay. The cover's cool, though I like it. Okay, I think this is the comic that is that is in here. Um, so this comic is Dracula's Revenge, and this is the Remains by Steve Niles and Kieran Dwyer. Yeah, this is about zombies, obviously, and this is the back. Let's pick up the pace. Okay, I really don't like this cover. Um, it's Dark Days. I really like this cover. He seems like mysterious and dark and intimidating. It seems like it's going to be a pretty dark um, style of in the comic, inside the comic. And this is the back, and I think it's like an ad for Castlevania, which I have on my watch list on Netflix. And it looks interesting. That was Dark Days. And I think this is like another like edition of Dark Days. And I think... I no, I think these are like two different dudes. Yeah, they look really cool. I like it. They look pretty cool to me. And this is the back. Is it a Silent Hill? Yes, Dark Days. Okay, this is. Lock and Key by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. It says giant-sized action. So, yeah, it's like fighting monsters stuff. And at the back it says, Time is running out for the Lock family. The end begins here. And it's like this crazy dude and he's like, Hey, take the key, take the key here it is lock and key <laughs> okay. this is um lock and key head games by joe hill and gabriel rodriguez too and i really i like this thing i don't know why it kind of reminds me like of death note death notes i don't know why i haven't seen death note but i've seen the like pictures and the the style of it and it kind of reminds me of that like a japanese comic or some i mean yeah i mean i guess in japan it wouldn't be a comic it would be like manga but it it it, it, it looks like japanese style this like this creature, whatever it is, specifically. And at the back, Star Trek. This is the front. Lock and key. Um, lock and key. Head games. It says, an insane tale of insanity in the IDY tradition. And it's like a, a head with weird looking eyes look at them oh and the back it looks pretty cool the back says ben Te temple smith's dracula yeah, that dracula looks cool Thirty days of night. Return to barrel. 
I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's like a hand or a creature. I don't, yeah, it's probably like a vampire. I don't know. And at the back, it's like a CSI crime scene investigation photo. Yeah. Whatever, but it's about 30 days of night. And I, th I think I've heard of this one. Um, it says George A. Romero's Land of the Dead. So it sounds like a zombie. I don't know. It could be zombie or vampire. Because, yeah, either way. It could go either way. This looks this looks good. I, th I, I like the cover. Kind of looks like a movie cover. Sadly, there's only one comic book left. But, yeah, whatever. It's been a good ride, guys, hasn't it? But the last comic book, I hope it looks a bit interesting and promising. Okay. Okay, it says Silent Hill Dead slash alive and it's like a, a crazy woman is on the cover and that looks pretty cool the cover and at the back it says summer breaks over get ready for the fall from the writer of spike old times uh, fallen angel this is like another um, comic book. It's very pretty, the, the picture. Yeah, but this one is, is Silent Hill. Dead slash alive. <laughs> Dead or alive. And yes, I have no more comic books. Let me count them, okay? Okay, guys, I counted them and they are exactly 20 comics. I'm going to hold up like the ones I think look the coolest. So I have my thumbnail. Oh, my. Wait. <gasps> I want it to look cool. Oh my god. Here. um guys thank you for seeing my video i really 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 appreciate it and yeah don't you worry if you speak english and you're seeing all of my other videos are in spanish because i am going to be making other videos in english so if you have any other ideas that you could give me you can put them in the comments down below Thank you very much for taking your time to see my crazy self buy comic books that I really didn't know much about. But hey, they looked cool and they sound cool. So see you later. Bye. Oh, subscribe. Yeah. I mean, if you want, you know, <laughs> bye, 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 bye.